Hello students, welcome back to Civil Engineering Sravan online application app. So in the previous class, we are done with complete uh, analysis of building structural model by considering damper system. So in this video, I will explain you basic introduction to the composite column system as well as the how to uh, add the composite column for the building structural model by using SAP 2000 software and how to do the analysis according to the composite column. So basically composite is nothing but combination of two or more materials with suitable uh, properties like uh, you can add the composite column like steel as well as the concrete so that it will make the uh, composite one material and in the same process if you add the aluminium steel concrete then it will make get uh, another composite material okay so in that way you can add the composite column. So composite column is also one of the most important technique to reduce the seismic loading intensity deflection values. So this is also one of the important technique for reduction of the seismic intensity according to your specified uh, uh, seismic zone as per your consideration. So basically in this example, I am taking some examples related to the composite columns. So, so you can see here these are the examples which is comes under the composite column structures. So in this uh, it will be consisting of the I section which is placed inside this uh, column section and this is the second section which is placed outside the reinforcement section and this is also one of the composite column and this is also one of the composite column ok so here you can see the concrete material RCC material which is attached to this particular uh, steel reinforcement here ok in uh, peri peri direction for this member so that it can get the composite column here ok so basically we will uh, use this composite column uh, for giving the resistance of the structure also so this is the basic introduction document related to the composite column building. So I will upload this document in the composite column folder. You can download that document for reading the general concept regarding the composite column structure. Okay. So now I will explain you how to do the composite column structure. So in this case just I am selecting the composite column which is consisting of your uh, square column and section which is consisting of some reinforcing bars here like this. Again in the same process I will consider I section which is placed inside this member. So I will consider this particular composite column member for my example project. So for that just I am opening my SAP 2000 software. So I was already done the modeling process and designing process for this building model G plus 5 building model using SAP 2000 software. For this model only I will apply the composite column. Initially I will unlock this model. Click on unlock option. Firstly we will delete the column which is placed here. Go to select option, select properties, frame sections. Just I am selecting the column here. Click on select option, close option. So we will go to edit option here. Click on delete option here. So that it will delete the properties which is related to the column sections here like this. Now we have to de define the composite column section. For that go to define option initially. Select the section properties here. So click on frame section properties. Just I am adding. So here you can delete this column section according to your consideration. So just I am deleting my column section. Click on add a new property. So initially I am selecting the column section or else you can directly add the composite column section by using this other methods also available. Okay. So in the other methods it is having section designer here. Okay. So you can add the composite column by using this method also. Okay. This method is easy when you compare with another method. So click on the section designer option. So firstly we will select the section name. This time I'm selecting here as composite column. So we will select the base material here. If you want to add the some other material also you can add here. Basically we have to add the material for the steel. Just I am adding the material for the steel here. Related to Indian code which is related to steel of FE 250 grade. Click on OK. Now after this we have to click on the section designer option here. Now base material is M30 grade. Why? Because we are considering the RCC member structure. Now after this we have to draw the base material RCC member for this project. Go to draw option for that. Select the solid shapes option. Select uh, uh, rectangle portion here. Just I am selecting here. Just I am adding here. Okay. Now we can see it was added here like this. Now I will select this particular rectangular portion. Right click on this option so that it will ask you to save the uh, change the dimensions. Just I am selecting the dimensions which is approximately equal to 0 0.69 cross 0 0.69. Just I am assuming for this member. Sorry for this member here. Okay, now we can see this is the dimensions for this member. Click on OK option. So after this we have to uh, OK, click on OK. Now we have to add the reinforcement bars. Now after this we have to add the reinforcement bars for this composite column member. 
for that just i'm applying the rubber band zoom option click on draw option click on reinforcing shape just i'm drawing the rectangular pattern here just i'm selecting this center point now we can see it was drawn your reinforcement if you wanted to edit the uh, reinforcement uh, values you can select this particular reinforcement right click on this option so that it will ask you to uh, select the bar dimensions if you want to uh, select that particular bar you can select or else directly keep it as constant so click on apply to all edges or anything so it will apply to all edges here so now in the same process if you want to change the reinforcement uh, values which is related to the height as well as the width you can change depends upon the cover so here i was assuming the cover is 30 30 which is of 60 uh, mm for this model if we deduct that particular 60 mm cover from the 690 then it will be comes under 0.63 value so here i am entering width as well as the depth as 0.63 click on okay option so that it will change here but we will change that particular value to 0.6 only just i am selecting here 0.6 just i am assuming here and this is also 0.6 just i am taking here click on okay now after this we have to draw the section which is related to steel section inside this particular member go to draw option here select the structural shape click on i flange width click on this center point now you can see here it was drawn with the composite i section member we have to modify the property which is related to this i section for that just i am selecting this i section right click on this option so now we have to enter the values according to the consideration so material just i am selecting here as uh, fe 250 grit and you can consider the height so height i am selecting here as 0.46 i'm top width also just i'm taking 0.46 i'm top thickness just i'm selecting here as 0.046 and web thickness also just i'm taking 0.046 and bottom web width also just i'm selecting 0.046 top thickness uh, just i'm selecting here as 0.046 value here click on okay option so that the property will be changed here according to consideration then after that we have to close this option or else you can directly click on done option so that it will save the uh, section designer which is related to composite column building structural model so you can open that and you can check that composite column okay so if you want to edit that you can uh, save this particular model according to your consideration so just i'm selecting done option directly here click on okay option now we have to draw the composite column for this member that's why we have to go to view option here select set 2d view option so firstly we will apply that particular model uh in x z plane option so here i am selecting just i am selecting this location click on apply option so that it will open this property here like this now we will select the quick draw frames option so now we will select the composite member instead of beam section just i am selecting here now we have to draw this composite column for this location here like this so that it will draw the composite column for this member in the same process we have to draw the composite column for all the members here now after this again we have to click on the view option set 2d view option again we will select this node point click on apply so that it will select this option here now we will draw the composite columns like this again we will draw the composite column again we will draw the composite column again we will draw the composite column In the same process, I am selecting this location. Now we have to draw the composite column for this lift provision columns only. So just I am drawing here. Again, I am drawing here. In the same process, I am selecting one more column section and one more section. Click on apply. So now we will apply the composite columns here. now here you can see it was applied all the composite columns for this building now we will select the 3d view for this building model so you can see here now we will show this model in rendering view click on general option extrude apply to all windows click on apply option so that it will show you the complete uh, composite column member which is considered for this uh, structure so i will zoom this at the bottom section you can able to see the reinforcement value which is related to the combination of rcc as well as the a uh, steel structural member which is presented in this particular member here okay so now we will do the analysis process after this go to analyze option here so click on set load cases to run option click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for this building structural model according to consider load cases
now we can see it is showing that uh, uh, complete deflection diagram for the building structural model according to the consideration so now i will show you this model click on start animation option so that we will check the results related to uh, deflection diagram under the considerations of the composite column so now we can see it is deflecting in this particular direction due to the presence of the dead loading condition system okay so again click on stamp animation again i am selecting display option show forces option select to cables and tendons so select the load case according to the consideration this time selecting shear to to option click on apply so that it will display the complete uh, shear force diagram for this in order to see the shear force diagram we have to unlock this uh, realistic model view click on the right mark option here object to fill select uh, object to fill standard apply to all windows apply so click on uh, object to fill option we have to click on apply to all windows click on apply option click on okay option now we will select the shear to to option click on apply option so that it will show you that shear force diagram again in the same process if you click on the bending moment diagram then it will show you the bending moment diagram and if you click on the torsion diagram then it will show you the torsion diagram in the so in this way you can uh, apply the composite column for the building structural model by using sap 2000 software and you can do the analysis process under the considerations of the load cases see you in the next video